So tomorrow is the test number four. The test number four gonna be based on quiz number two. In this video, in this tutorial, I'm gonna go over quiz number two. Pay attention. Number one has to do with a few things. Sliding across uniform horizontal surface, but start the force required to start an object slide. That's the important thing. Start an object slide. That means the object is at rest. That means the object is not moving. You have to um, you have to apply some force to make it move. So this is subject to FS. All right. Now the second part is that to keep the object sliding. To keep the object sliding means the other object is already in the motion. Okay. All right, so this is subject to FK, and understand FK is smaller than FS. So the kinetic friction, which is FK, is less than the static friction FS. This is problem number one. But two has to do with Newton's third law FAB is equal to FBA, which is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. So, in this case, I have a man, let's call M, I have a stroller, let's call it S, man push the stroller, so the stroller push him back. So the man, when the man push the stroller by man, so the stroller is pushed by man, which is equal in magnitude but opposite in direction, the, the man pushed by the stroller, okay? So the same magnitude, Newton. A good example of Newton. Number three has to do with unbalanced force. Unbalanced force gives rise to the acceleration. No unbalanced force, no acceleration. Unbalanced force always gives rise to acceleration. Okay, since there is some unbalanced force, there will be acceleration. So acceleration versus time gap is always constant when there is an unbalanced force. So obviously, the answer is four. Four, we have five Newton force um, could have perpendicular component of one and four, absolutely not. Two and three, absolutely not. Three and four, absolutely not. Uh, yeah, three and four will work. Five and five, absolutely not. So we're gonna use the Pythagorean theorem and head and tail method to show why three and four are gonna work. So let's call three and four, let's call this one, uh, this one, I don't know, this one three Newton, and let's call this one four Newton, okay? Four Newton, and they are perpendicular with respect to each other. Now let's use the head and tail. So now let's use the head and tail. So now you have the blue one, and you have the red one, okay? Now, the, the, the red one is 4 Newton and the blue one is, of course, 3 Newton. Now, the green one has to be 1. Okay, so if you do the math, you will see that C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So C squared is equal to 3 squared plus 4 squared. So C has to be 5. So that green has to be 5. So that's why I said the answer is 3. That type takes us problem number 5. Right, so let's go to the problem number five. Problem number five, we have to find the normal force. So what is the, what is the weight? So there is a box sitting on the table. The box is five kilogram. So the weight is Fg. Fg is 49.1. Why? Because uh, five times 9.81. All right, so if the Fg is 49.1, Fn has to be equal in magnitude but opposite in, opposite in direction. So that means the answer is 1. That takes us problem number 6. Problem number 6 will be this one. All right, so we see this object is 10 kilogram. All right. This object is 10 kilogram. And what else we see? We see the sliding to the right. Sliding to the right, the object sliding to the right, a rough surface acceleration at two meter per second. Acceleration is negative two meter per second due to the force of friction. What do we need to find? 
uh, find the net force. So net force is, so we know that net force is F net is MA. So M is of course, M is of course 10 kilogram. So this is M, M is 10 kilogram. So 10 times A is negative two. So negative 20 Newton. So net force is at the direction of the acceleration. All right, so acceleration is uh, this direction. This is acceleration, so that force is also in this direction. Okay, this is problem number six. Now we're gonna head to problem number seven. Problem number seven, uh, what do we, we have to draw a vector. Okay, one centimeter is equal to five Newton. So one centimeter, one centimeter is equal to five Newton. Then how many centimeter is equal to 20 Newton? We did 20 Newton in the previous problem, all right. So Newton, Newton, cancel. Newton, Newton, cancel. So I have one centimeter over five is equal to x over 20. So five x is equal to 20 centimeter. So x is equal to four centimeter. All right, so the answer to this question is four. That takes us problem number eight. Problem number eight. What do we have to do? Find the coefficient of kinetic friction. So coefficient of kinetic friction is mu k is fm over fn. We know that fm from the previous problem because acceleration, uh, the net force is, uh, net force is, uh, we saw that net force is negative 20. The, all the net force is fn. So you got to, Take the absolute value and Fn is, of course, this is 10 kilogram. All right, so 10, uh, so 10 kilogram. So uh, Fn is um, is what? Fn is Fg. This is Mg. M is 10 times 9.8. Okay, so we can say 100. All right, so 100. So mu k is 0.2. All right, mu k is prime two. All right, that takes us problem number nine. Problem number nine, two kilogram object falling freely. So the object is two kilogram is falling freely. So there's the only thing is mg, m is two, g is, uh, I don't know, uh, let's say g is uh, 10, 10 meter per second squared. So it's 20 newton. All right, so the answer is one. That takes us problem number 10. Problem number 10, a force 60 a Newton. So this is 60 Newton. What do we need to find? Find the friction. Our right. force of friction is equal to, force of friction is equal to F cosine 30. And F is 60 cosine 30. 60 cosine 30. So that would be 60 cosine 30 would be 52. 52 Newton. Okay, so that's 52 Newton. Number 11. All right, so what do you need to find? Uh, so in this case, this time one centimeter is equal to, of course, for the Newton. And we want to know that. Uh, that the uh, centimeter to draw a vector representing the normal force acting on it. So we want to find the normal force. So, all right, x is the normal force. So let's find the normal force. Normal force is 20 newton. All right. So newton newton cancel. So one centimeter over four is equal to x over 20. So four x is equal to 20 centimeter. So x is equal to five centimeter. So x is equal to five centimeter. Okay, all right, that is number 11. So you're gonna do number 12. Number 12, what we need to find, calculate the magnitude of the frictional force. All right, so frictional force is, this is wood, uh, all right, wooden box moving toward the right on wood surface. So wood on wood is 0.3. So frictional force, Fn is mu k Fn. 
So 0.3 times 20, Fn is 20, so 6 Newton. All right, the answer is 6 Newton for 12. Number 13. Number 13 is uh, find the magnitude of the net force. So we know friction is, friction is 6 Newton. So net force is F net is F A minus F F. So F A is 8 Newton minus 6 Newton, 2 Newton. And that's gonna take us to number 14. Number 14, we have to find the acceleration. So we know this is F F, F F is, F F is 6 Newton. So F net, is, is 2 Newton, so acceleration is F net over mass, F net is 2 Newton, mass is 20 divided by 10, 2, uh, 20 divided by 10, 2, right, so 2 uh, kilogram, so 1, uh, 1 meter per second square. All right, so you hopefully you understand that, okay? Uh, so uh, why did I divide that? I divide that because from Newton to mass, you just divide it by acceleration due to gravity, and then you get the you get the and you get the mass. And what what am I talking about? Mass is f of what? Uh, f of what? Uh, so mass is f of what a or f of what g? So f is twenty. G is 10, so mass is 2, that's how I get 2. Okay, good. Uh, moving on, so number 15, what do you have to determine the mass? So you have to find the mass. So mass is F over A. F is 20, A is 10, so mass is 2. Alright, that takes us number 16. All right, so we have to find, so an object weighing two Newton is pushed, so two Newton is pushed across a horizontal frictionless surface, uh, force with four Newton, okay? So FA is four Newton. The magnitude of the net force acting on the object is four Newton because there is no force of friction. Force of friction is zero, why? Because it says frictionless. So the total net force is net force is four newton because there is no friction. Okay, all right. That takes us to seventeen. All right. So if the sum of all forces acting on a moving object is zero, the object will be continue moving with constant velocity. We talk about we talk about it many times. Aristotle would disagree, but Newton would say Newton would say yeah, the object will move with constant velocity. Good. All right. So the diagram below shows the force, uh, magnitude. Uh, okay. All right. Angle theta is this. Okay. So today we did this. All right. So if, for example, if you have a mass, uh, you you have apply force forty newton. Okay. All right. And if you have a mass, you apply force uh, forty newton. All right. Okay. This is angle zero and this is angle, let's say, 30, okay? If you increase the angle, this time, let's say this is five kilogram, let's say this is five kilogram, let's say this is mu k two, mu k two or three, I don't know, mu k two or three. So this one acceleration will be very close to six, this one acceleration will be less than six, okay? Of course, uh, all right, so 10 Newton force, apply on 25 Newton object, what we need to find is force of friction. So force of friction is mu k fn. So this is U on U, so this is 0.3 and fn has to be fg. So fg is 25 Newton, fn is also 25 Newton, so 25, so 7.5 Newton. Okay, so force of friction is 7.5 seven Newton. All right, last problem, and that is problem number 20. Problem number 20, we need to find the net force. 
So you see that this is 25 Newton, you apply some force to move it and then you calculate the force of friction is 7.5 Newton. So that force is equal to applied force minus force of friction, which is 10 Newton minus 7.5 Newton, which is 2.5 Newton. Make sure you uh, understand every single problem I went over on this tutorial. I'll see you tomorrow. Brought to you by Brilliant.org. Bari Science Lab to fall in love with math and science.